hello everyone welcome to this uh, video today we will see how we can download and install alien vault osim which is a sim security information and event management for incident handling and response so we will search in google alien vault ossim and then we'll click and download the iso file so it's a free iso file open source uh, we will click on download and the download will start so as you can see but i have already downloaded this uh, it will take some time for you and then we can go ahead and open virtual box and start with the installation process so you have to when you click on download you have to scroll down and then click again here download iso and it will start downloading and it's around 700 uh, 17 megabytes i'll cancel it and let's go so here i have downloaded the file as you can see alien vault osim 64 bit iso file and i have moved it to my d drive and this is the ongoing uh, lab setup for our ethical hacking lab where we are installing some vulnerable operating system as well as attacking penetration testing operating system and some security operating system so if you haven't checked that you can see my earlier videos and here you can see uh, i have already configured pfSense which is a firewall and working as a router so pfSense is now will act as a router in this local area network and assigning ip addresses and i have also started Parrot security in the same local area network LAN. Uh, the PFSense will assign IP address to this as well as uh, the alien vault that we are going to install. We are also using. We will be using that uh, LAN local area network. So quickly, let's have a look in our network. Uh, you can see I have actually created a NAT network and. I'm using the external network with IP address. Uh, this is the local area network actually subnet 192.168.100.0 and 198.168. Uh, uh, this is actually taking uh, the internet. Uh, PFSense is taking the internet and also I have created one. Let me go to PFSense. So net network will take the internet and uh, I have another adapter that is internal network with name IN0 and this internal network we will be actually uh, giving all the machine this network so parrot security also is in this internal network and the name of the internal network is IN0 and PFSense is the default gateway and parrot security will have internet access and the internet will have uh, I mean through the firewall so as you can see parallel security this is in internal network and this is the IP address if I do IF config you can see parallel security is having 10.0.1.10 so this local area network uh, default gateway IP address is 10.0.1.1 uh, .1, which is the IP address of uh, PFSense and then DSCP uh, we can uh, run n number of machine with this internal network name IN0 where we will have it will be uh, like PFSense will assign different IP addresses so not to complicate and let's proceed and uh, we are going to start the configuration so we have downloaded now we will install the so first we are going to create add new we'll click on new and then we'll name it as alien vault ossim and then we will select the folder uh, actually uh to d drive because i'm running out of space and you can go with the default uh, just next but for me i will just use another uh, because i have a low space in c drive so i will go ahead and go in d drive and i will select uh, here i have all the virtual machines actually i will select this folder 
now uh, the type will be linux and version is ubuntu so we'll use ubuntu uh, 64 bit and then click on next here we are uh, assigning around 4 gb of ram and uh, i don't have much cpu you can see i have only two cpus uh, so i'll just use one for this but if you have more cpus then you can uh, select two cpu minimum and ram uh, two gb is also fine but i'm using four gb for now and then click on next here i will assign uh, you can assign like 12 to 18 minimum i will assign here uh, around 20 GB of uh, RAM and you can uh, if you have uh, more you can also increase this like maybe uh, 40 GB and we will click on next it will be dynamic uh, dynamically allocated actually so now we are good to go we we'll click on finish and we'll go to settings in settings we have to check uh, the floppy we will uncheck it and bring it down boot order uh, first from uh, we'll bring it down actually so first from hard disk and then optical now uh, that is CD and then display we will increase it to uh, i mean the video memory we will increase uh, to full actually and storage we have to click on the empty and then select uh, the iso file that we just downloaded from the website this one so we will select that iso file it is located i have moved it to d drive downloads folder here I have this ISO OSIM file. Now I'll just click here. And then I will also go to network and in this uh, I have only one adapter and instead of uh, NAT I will go to internal network and I have selected internal network name IN0. So this is my internal network actually and this is the MAC address ending with B8. So this is done. So now we will uh, click on OK and then we'll start. So now it will boot and then it will start the installation process. it's powering up as you can see 20% done already okay so it's running yeah now we will press enter yeah, press enter So you will be presented with this screen i will go with the default uh, just continue click on continue and the country like it's in united states you can ch uh, change your uh, location if you want but i will go with the default or i will just uh, select uh, you can select any country actually so right now we are good to go like just for demonstration purpose you, you can select your country and uh, all that so keyboard american english continue now it is detecting hardware and all and then we have to assign ip address so, so this step is uh, crucial guys uh, so if you don't know the ip address you have to contact your network and administrator or you should have a little uh, networking concept so i have already set up the network as i have shown you earlier and i'm using this in the internal network and my internal network is set uh, using the pfSense firewall 
and parasecurity is also in internal network and parasecurity is having a IP address 10.0.1.10 and the internal network is uh, 10.0.1.10 one slash 24 and one is the 10.10.1.1 is the default gateway which is uh, this actually so here you can see this is the local area network we are using and 10.10.1.1 is the default gateway and it is the firewall pfsense firewall open source firewall and uh, we are actually setting we will be uh, assigning an ip address for the osim in this local area network only uh, so now uh, because we have uh, our alien vault also running in that uh, local area network internal network name IN0 and here we have to type the IP address so I will type uh, within uh, any IP uh, it should be a static IP address or else I can give 10.0.1.1 slash 24 if I don't know the IP address or for this machine I will assign 10.0.1 dot uh, I will just assign one dot So I'll just assign the two fifty three. I'll click on continue and then go with the default subnet mask is correct two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero and default gateway is uh, also correct. Uh, this is the default gateway, guys. the router IP address of uh, sense firewall 10.0.1.1 now we will click on ok and it is asking for name server so we'll give name server the google name server 8.8.8 and then continue now we have to uh, give the password I mean the root password so whatever you feel like uh, so whenever we type command like sudo we need to give that password for uh, access so I'll type my password here and then I will continue And I will just go with the default and continue. So now the alien vault will do the configuration. Once everything is done completely, the alien vault will restart and it will give us the IP address, uh, the web interface IP address that we can actually uh use and open a browser and type in the type uh, i mean type that uh default uh i mean web interface ip address of alien vault osim and then we can log in using so that will be actually uh in uh, also uh, in order to access that uh, alien vault web interface uh, we should run a machine in the lan in the same lan actually local area network that is internal network name IN0 and I have already uh, started parrot security for that purpose so after the system starts I will actually open a browser and then access the alien vault uh, web interface from parrot security because I'm using this internal network so this process will take some time you should have patience almost done
So it's done actually, almost done. So uh, during the installation, one thing like uh, it will actually uh, wait for some time to download the feed actually, GVM uh, feed. Uh, you should have a lot of patience because it is time consuming. I mean, it will take it will take long time, and then uh, it will be eventually done. Okay, after that, uh, the system will reboot, and you can see a similar screen. Login. Okay. So you have to actually need to give uh, more CPUs, otherwise uh, the system will be slower, as you can see in my case. Uh, so at least two actually uh, CPU should be given, or more. Like uh, otherwise, uh, that is why actually we are uh, having uh, this slowness in our system. I mean, in my system. So I'm giving only one CPU, but uh, they have suggested two, minimum two, or if more than that, it will be faster. So even if I'm applying changes or trying to log in, so it is taking uh, some time actually. So now you can see I logged in finally. So when you log in for the first time, you will be uh, seeing a wizard or else you can skip the wizard and then you'll be presented with uh, this kind of screen where you can actually uh, check the report, do configuration, Create intelligence. You can uh, create support tickets for the concerned team to handle certain security incidents, and then you can do a vulnerability scan. Uh, so for that, you have to add those uh, endpoints. Actually, again, we can use Open Trade Exchange (OTX) integrate with that. So OTX, I will just show you quickly. This is the OTX by Alien Vault again. Open Trade Exchange. So here we have to sign up for an account and then we can actually uh, connect it in our Alien Vault. We have to sign up for a free account and then uh, so here we have the Trade Intelligence. It's a community where uh, like free like uh, without paying anything we will be able to get all the latest uh, incident on various organizations happening so that we can get the feeds here automatically and this is how it looks to do configuration deployment administrator treat intelligence settings in, in order to deploy we can click on deployment so that we will be coming uh, actually uh, the internal system or how we can do the steps or do the sim i mean incident handling and response using uh, alien world we will be doing it in the upcoming videos so this video was still like the installation part we successfully installed it and uh, due to my uh, low cpu uh, I, actually it's taking time Anyway, but we were able to successfully install this. So thanks for watching guys.